Good day YouTube, down the bricks here. Welcome to a new segment I'm going to start doing and it's just called Just Build It. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Just gonna take a set and I'm gonna build it. So we're gonna have a look at the box, we're gonna do an unboxing, then we're just gonna get cracking on building the set. So I've been asked by numerous people in the past to do videos like this, so I thought I'd give it a go. So we're gonna start today with set 76056. Batman's Rescue from Ra's al Ghul. So, pretty cool looking superhero set. So, let's check it out there. You can see the cover art on the front of the box. And on the back, we have a little scene set up and a picture of all the little play features. So, that's pretty much the box. Let's have a look at getting into it. Okay, there's the contents, that's it. So, what do we get? We get two bags of bricks, one bag, two bags. We get a sticker sheet that's not wrapped in plastic and we get two instruction manuals. So, let's get started. We get quite a few elements in bag one. Okay, instruction book one. Okay, we're going to do a couple of figs and the bat buggy. So let's start with Raz. So get all the capes in a box. Always fiddly these. I always find they're fiddly these little neck pieces. Now I'm off to a great start. I put the cape on first. A little bit fiddly. Okay. Now yeah, we're rocking and rolling. Just gonna line those up a little better. There we go. I'm just trying to get a bit more light in here. Hope that's a bit better. Okay, so on to Batman. So I forgot to give him his sword. There we go. Batman, Desert Batman. Very cool to get Desert Batman. Okay, that's interesting. We actually get the old... Oh, now I've dropped it. 
So we get the old style cow. So that's interesting. And weapons, of course, we get the batarang and a sword for Batman. So that's pretty cool. And there is Desert Batman. Let him just get us in a little bit closer. Let's get started on the buggy. Technique brick. Another Technic brick and one of these Dubalakis on the back. A couple of long pins on the front. Technic brick with one hole. Each side, two by six and a two by four. And another plate. And a couple more pins. Repeat that with the brick with two studs on the side. I was thinking that was the front, but looks like it's going to be the back. Bricks with clips. A couple of three long inverted slopes corner bricks, two of those and two slope bricks to strengthen the whole thing there Plates, one by three. Black inverted, one by twos. Let's go on the back like that. And three long slopes. Two plates, lock it all in. The two wide cheesies. And three one by two plates. Like that. Uh, slope piece and Two clips, two one by one clips on top. Very handy piece. What's a buggy without a steering wheel? And two of these Dubalakis. Two more cheese slopes and a big three wide slope. 
Actually need two of those. So that goes there. One on each side. Like so starting to take shape. Alright, here we go. Stick of time. So, we are going to put on these two and the bat symbol. So let's start with the bat symbol. So we've got the old tweezers with the flat nose. It's a little bit dusty, take that off. Stick a two. Another fan of putting stickers on these type of bricks with the textured surface. for the other side oh, I got that one upside down okay there we go. Stickers on. A couple of yellow transparents on the back here. The slopes with step. And a cheese on a cone. Two of them. Three long slope. Another cheese slope. on the wrong way. Go like that. Not sure what I was expecting with this build to be honest. It didn't look too much on the box but it's starting to become a little bit more substantial. A couple the fixed stud shooters on the front, two more cheese slopes to lock those in, and a four long bar. Okay, a couple of these pieces. And the antenna piece, put those in. I'll make a couple of those. And then they clip on here. And there's your little roll cage. Yep. 
Okay. A little one by clips. Put a little transparent piece on those. A clip on there. Forgot to mention you do get a spare battering in the silver. Okay, wheel time. Get these nice big chunky tyres and gold rims. It's quite often a uh, thing with Batmobiles is the gold rims. I'll put that one on the wrong way. Okay, let's whack them on. Cool. All right. It's a little stubby thing, isn't it? And whack a couple of these in the stud shooters. And that gets you finished. So we can put, so I'm not sure if that's for another character, I don't think so, so we get a spare sword and a spare Ballerang, so we can actually clip those on the back, that's handy, go in there, there we go, and there we go, the bat buggy, so let's get into bag two. Okay, bag two. Let's just come out a little bit. Move this instruction book, so we're going on to book two. Big pieces in in this one, isn't there? Start grabbing some of this stuff out now for the mini figs. And some of the smaller bags here. So let's put a robin together and check this out. We actually get a jagged cape for robin. So I think that could be a new piece. I can't remember seeing a jagged cape. Just have a look on the shelf. Yeah, I can't remember seeing that before. Looks like that could be a new cape. And he has the short legs. And where's his bow staff? Here we go. There we have Robin. And Talia Al Ghul. Let's give her the mean face. Yeah, it's a pretty wicked looking weapon and you do get a Sperry as well. So, very cool. Let's move this along. Okay. 
let's get started. So we start with a plate, one of these A-frame pieces, one by three. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, there it is, right in front of me. Another angled plate. Alright, now we put on this huge plate here. So the one by four in black on this end. And a two by, where's the other angled? These were the pieces I was looking for for the western town. So now we've got a set with more of them in. in the dark tan. Okay. Two by two round plates, three along the back side here. Now I've centered that one. Get the trusty separator. There we go. Flip it. And we whack another one of these on. And up we go. Start building up. Or maybe just one. I've actually made a mistake. I've got to put I skipped that bit, didn't I? Put in that, and that, and then we put that up. There we go. One of those, and one of these. Little jumpers. One by three tile and around. That just goes on there. Just come out a little bit. There we go. Okay, so we need a tan brick and one of these things. the staircase stairs and then seven more one two three four five six and seven right around and clip him on there and put that there so we can lock it in shortly like now there we go all locked in got this big castle panel piece now that just goes back here, like that. It doesn't seem to be 
little bit unstable so let's whack on some tiles here and lock that together These little Technic bricks with hole. And we have a axle piece here with the capped end. And where's that bit? Here we go. So I'll push that through onto there. So getting ready for a play feature here. Reddish brown inverted one by two brick or slope. One of these angled plates, and then one of these angled plates like that. Alrighty. Got a little separate build here, starting on the one by three plate, and uh, stick it to my finger. So that's three bricks with the Technic hole. Put in one of these pins on the end. Now we need. One of these angled brackets with the round tile and then we put a sticker on there that's a pretty wicked looking sticker actually if I peel it off check that dude out we getting that that's pretty cool isn't it always hard to get these circle stickers centered I don't think that's too bad this time. Okay. So that goes on there. We get one of the little 1x2 slopes with a little step in it. Clip that on. Oh, these are a great piece. The 1x1 one one round with the, the hole in the guts. Put that on. Very handy. And we put the little gem straight in there. Beautiful. So oh, I've got to put a pin as well in the side. And I need a clip. A one by one plate with the clip. There we go. Okay. Oh, we're still not done. Need one of these Technic pieces. And we put the little ball joint in each end so that goes on there and we should have a axe all right cool now that goes straight on to here okay oh, I can see what that's gonna do Let's get a door frame and a cage door. Put the gold piece on. And oh, here, I'm not finished. We're going to put one of these on top. Okay, and one of these. A couple of cheesies on each side in tan. Gonna love the tan. And now it can go on. There we go. Cool. Alright. Looking pretty smicko. Let's make a plate over here. Desert's not a desert without a scorpion. And a couple 
of those. We need a brick. 1 by 2 brick and a 2 high brick. Put them together like so. Okay, another panel piece like so. And this one needs a sticker. That's another cool sticker. So there we go. It's this one here. That's pretty deadly. Let's take that off. See how we go with getting this on. So if I'm blocking the camera, I just want to try and get it on nice and straight. Okay. I don't think that's too bad a job. And then that can go on like that. Okay. Get in there. Alright, we need these three high bricks with the clips. So that actually goes there. And then we just get the plain three high brick goes there and a one by one brick to go there. I think that was actually the step before to put that on. It was. So I also missed this bit. Put a cheesy on and put that in there on a, on a brick. Okay. See, not paying attention. One by three. We get another awesome round stud with hole. Stick a flame in there. And lock all that together. Like that. Beautiful. Three little cheesies. And they go all the way up this end. Like so. We need a black 1x2 tile and two 1x2 plates. So you got a plate, a tile, and a plate. Okay, time to put a door on, and I love these doors. They're just fantastic, aren't they? Let's put a door handle on it, and clip him in. So there's one door. Now we actually have to build the other door separately. So we start with a three, two by three brick, a two by two brick, and one by one brick with a clip and put that on like that three of these guys and three of these a so three high plane brick three high brick with clip and another plain one Again, we lock them together with a slope. Another brick with hole, another little plate with hole, I should say, and the door. Okay, so that's that. A little bit, um, and a flame, of course. Put the flame in. Gotta get it flaming. And now we clip that on and that's that done. Okay. Next the Lazarus Pit. Yep. So put that on like so. And these little angled pieces, wall element. Get lots of these lime. Colored trans pieces, which are really cool. 
except I've made a mistake. Chip them off. Had to put another one of these like that. What did I say about paying attention? Okay. And then we put these on like so. Four of them. Like that. And then we can clip another one of these plates underneath there. Lovely. Two more of these on each side. I'll lock them together even more. Two more of these. And two more tiles. There we go. It's looking good. Now, I'll put some pins in here. I'll put this here. So, get the little tippy tippy go lock those in so they don't fall off with some jumper tiles a bit of decoration and now the final sticker center that okay and that's him okay so let's get this all together and if we come out so we get there's our spares in the pieces it's all left over, so you actually do get a spare one of those with the hole, so I like that. Spare weapons, so we get lots of weapons with this, which is really cool. I actually think that maybe they're not spare. I didn't, can't remember seeing that, but I'd say we're going to clip those on there like that. There we go. So, very good. There's the little build. The pit, the buggy, and the mini figs. So there you go guys, Batman's Rescue from Ra's al Ghul. So, like I said, very different video for me to start with. Let me know what you think about it. Did you like this video? If you did, give it a thumbs up. That would be great. Let me know in the comments what you think about this set. That would be cool. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.